Good morning. Welcome to West Broad Street YMCA. Wasn't it great to see so many smiling faces as you joined and walked down the sidewalk this morning? Thank you, friends. We are going to do invocation and the Pledge of Allegiance. And so if you would be so kind to stand with me while um, Bishop Seals comes up, and then our pre-K class is going to lead us in a Pledge of Allegiance. Let us pray. Father, we come this morning thanking you for your loving kindness and your tender mercies and blessing you for a beautiful day that you have allowed us to see. We come today, God, to honor you and to celebrate you for continuing to be good to this West Broad Street YMCA. And, oh, God, we pray that your continued blessings upon this organization to be a beacon light in our community, to be a helping hand to somebody as we travel along. Continue to let them be a light shining in the midst of darkness. But most of all, God, working towards to hearing those powerful words all of us want to hear. Servant, well done. Bless us today like only you can and keep us in the hollow of your care. And we give you the glory, honor, and praise. And it is in your name we pray. Amen. We're going to invite Nick and Shabani up from uh, Senator Osloff's office. The children have a gift for them. Let's go back to it. Let's go. 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 To the chairman of the Chatham County Commissioner, Commission, the commissioners, Mr. Mayor of the city of Savannah and Alderman, and to all who are assembled here this morning. Good morning. I'm Joseph N. Bell, Jr., and I'm bringing you greetings to the members of the board of directors of the West Bar Street YMCA, where I serve as chair. This is an exciting, exciting day for the West Wall Street Y, and we thank you for gathering to bear such a bear witness to this event. In 1942, West Wall Street Y, MCA USO, was founded by a group of dedicated citizens of both races. These persons wanted to provide for Negro servicemen who served active in World War II a place to be. Those who did it are too numerous to mention. 
This group of citizens raised the money and bought the building located at 714, at that time, West Broad Street, now Martin Luther King Boulevard, and turned it over to the USO for work among servicemen and women. After the war, the Citizen Committee for Negro Social Services received the building back from the USO and immediately set up a YMCA. The West Broad Street YMCA then relocated to 1110 May Street in a new building in 1968. This heritage Y, once one of 300, is now one of only six left in the country. West Broad Street YMCA stands on Christian principles with a mission to provide an economic empowerment to end generational poverty in our community. We utilize a holistic approach of programming, developing partnerships, and community engagement. Currently, we house an early learning day learning program for 80 children, six weeks to four years old, before and after school care, summer camp, enrichment programs, senior line dance, and step aerobics, soccer, football, and basketball. We, over 80 children receive three well, well-balanced nutritional meals on a daily basis. We gather here today to receive an announcement of financial resources which will allow the West Broad Street Y to continue to thrive. We offer greetings and heartfelt thanks for those who are responsible for this. We certainly do appreciate it. The children of our community will, will appreciate it. And we just say once again, welcome to West Broad Street YMCA. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here and let me greet you on behalf of the county commissioners. Let me ask all the county commissioners who are here to stand with me. Uh, Commissioner Whiteley, Commissioner Harge, Commissioner Milton. All right, on behalf of us, we greet you and I'm gonna save the best for last, all right, in my announcements because this is greater than you know. And we are indebted and gratitude has befallen upon us. And we are so proud to be able to spearhead what is about to happen here in Chatham County. So at this time, let me call on the mayor who will come, Mayor Van Johnson, who will come and make some remarks. And then following um, the mayor will come, Mr. James Riles from the West Park Street YMC board, the mayor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Savannah will be, hey, good morning. <laughs> Savannah will be a safe, environmentally healthy, and economically thriving community for all of its citizens. And all means all. And all doesn't happen by happenstance. It doesn't happen by chance. All happens by being intentional in that space and so i'm excited to be here on behalf of the greatest city on earth certainly have all the women carol and bell here as well uh, and to many of you i see our representative ann allen westbrook here um to be able to continue to celebrate uh, the wonderful things that are happening in this community the question is asked can these bones live and the reality is that these bones never died some of you have been around long enough to know the days of the West Broad Street YMCA. And there were days where it looked like it wasn't gonna happen. And it's seen as final days. But yet in the midnight hour, Pastor Young, something would happen to turn the fortunes of this place around. 
And I'm just convinced that this place continues to be blessed in a way. Mr. Kegler, Ms. Kramer, you remember our days at the county where the county would invest because they needed a roof. They put a roof on it to help keep things happening here. And so we're so excited that yet another infusion, another breath of life is being sprayed over this special place because we realize as a larger community, it's not about us, it's about them. That our greatest days are not because of us, it's because of them. The West Broad Street YMCA has been around long enough that at one point we were them. And all young people, all, Bishop Odom, all need and deserve a place, a safe place, just to be kids, just to have fun, just to have reliable food, just to be able to be loved on by caring professionals, just to have a place to be young, because we know old is coming, and we know all they have to look forward to is bills, <laughs> right? So we want them to enjoy it while they enjoy it. I am so grateful to our federal partners, particularly Senator uh, John Ossoff, uh, who I talked to yesterday, getting so bummed that he could not be here for us. But our city, I hear you, Lord. <laughs> A little wind never hurt anything, but we are celebrating a, a resurgence of federal investment. The folks in Washington, D.C. know where Savannah, Georgia is. Yesterday, we celebrated our eighth cabinet-level secretary coming to the city of Savannah in the last five years, the eighth, uh, and celebrated, again, the largest federal investment in, in stormwater that FEMA has ever made in a single time. And we're celebrating uh, Senator Ossoff and, and obviously the work that he's doing, our Senator Warnock, who grew up just blocks from here, and the work that they're doing. And we celebrate the, the county uh, helping to lift this. And when we were asked whether we supported it, of course, we were absolutely a part of this. Because at the end of the day, they're all our children. They're all ours. And our success in this community depends on our succession and what we do with them how we love them, how we care about them, how we nurture them, and how we provide caring spaces for them. So I'm excited just to be here. I'm excited for this beautiful day in this great, great city. I'm grateful for the board uh, of the uh, West Broad Street YMCA, of course, the amazing staff, many of that I've known for years, and the fact that we keep on loving, we keep on working, and when we do the right things for the right reason, the money will come. The money is here. Thank you all so much. Good morning, everyone. I'm charged with the task of presenting the project overview. We see the project as being a three-phase process based on our master plan. And if you look around, you see some of these renderings and drawings, and this is our master plan. And we're going to start with the phase one of it. Uh, and what we consider as phase one um, is the pool. And we're very excited about the partnership opportunity with the county. On today, we'll be, we're being awarded with grant funding, which the county applied for and received on our behalf. These funds will be used for what we consider to be phase one of the project, restoring the swimming pool and reinstituting our swimming lessons and programs. Learning how to swim, as well as learning water safety awareness is paramount for our children. The death rate from drowning is higher among African-American children more than any other group in our society. We're looking forward to offering swimming lessons and water safety education to all ages and segments of our community. Let me take a moment just to say this about our pool restoration. We had two very, very dedicated advocates pushing for this pool to be reopened as, as many others of you have. But the two that I'm referring to this morning are no longer here with us. Uh, 
Mr. Clarence Davis, who's one of our board members. He was a big advocate of that, getting that pool done. And the other one is the um, Chairman Commissioner Gator Rivers. So the both of them are going on, but I know they're looking down today, real excited about this opportunity that the county has helped us to be able to move forward with. Like many of us, they grew up learning how to swim at a YMCA. This pool has not been used for over 10 years now, if not longer. And we've had to transport our children to the aquatic center during the summer for them to experience a day or two of the pool. And that's not enough time to learn anything about swimming. But we would transport them over to the aquatic center once or twice during the summer for them to experience that. Um, what is a YMCA without a swimming pool? As I stated, most of us grew up around the YMCA and swimming was a vital part of the YMCA. So again, we are very excited about moving forward with phase one of getting this pool restored and reinstituted so that we can teach our children water safety and, uh, and uh, uh, the ability to swim. Phase two, we focus on our facilities. Our main building is close to over 58 years old. And as Mayor Johnson just mentioned, a roof was put on it, but Mayor, it's time for another one. It's time for another one. And so we, we need to restore or replace both roofs. And when I was speaking of the facilities, we have our main building, as I stated, is about 58 years old. This building here, is somewhere around 25 or 30 years old. And they both are in dire need of renovation and remodeling on the interior. We are constantly having to repair HVAC units. We have about 15 units on site. We've replaced about eight of them and the other seven are in need of replacement. We need to repair and remodel the interior structures of our facilities. Ceiling tiles are old and deteriorating with lots of water damage. The windows are outdated. They are not weatherized and up to energy efficient standards. Our bathrooms need remodeling and updating with energy efficient appliances, just to name a few of the many interior improvements needed. These interior improvements are in reference to both buildings. And then we, we look at phase three. Phase three will consist of, again, the drawings here, and we have a walking trail, a jogging trail that we envision putting around the property. Um, we want to improve this basketball court and institute a pickleball court. Pickleball has become very popular. And so we're looking at instituting a pickleball court because we have the basketball court inside. Um, we want a beautification of the landscaping design. Um, we will have sitting areas, a gazebo, as well as enhancing lighting for night events. Our gardening, beautiful sanctuary. Um, we, we're just so excited and grateful to our gardener, Ms. Sandra Kaysen, who worked with our children and our seniors. And uh, that garden is, is therapy for our children. They enjoy it. Uh, my granddaughter uh, participates here. She comes home talking about the garden. She comes home talking about picking up worms and just discovering things. And so this garden is a great haven for our children, a great place of just learning. We uh, have an estimated price tag of about 1.9 to 2.5 million needed for us to be able to achieve the completion of our master plan. We as a board realize the role we must play in making this a reality. However, we are very appreciative for supporters like all of you who are here with us this morning, knowing that we can count on you for your help and support. In closing, I would like to thank you all for allowing me the opportunity to share and to be a part of this awesome project effort to serve and meet the needs of this community. Thank you.
Thank you. And now we're going to have um, comments from Shabani, uh, uh, Senator Osoff's office. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, thank you so much for welcome welcoming me here today. I want to quickly acknowledge the mayor. Um, it has been a great, wonderful day today and yesterday highlighting federal investments coming to Savannah um, and other elected officials that are joining us today as well. Um, I also want to thank our, the children of the West Broad Street YMCA for the warmest welcome and for the lovely artwork that you provided for our office. We will make sure to get it right back to Atlanta as soon as we possibly can. Um, I do have a statement from Senator Ossoff today. Uh, he is sorry that he's not able to make it. Good morning, all. I'm sorry I cannot join you in person today, but Senate bu Business has called me back to Washington for votes. Chatham County families and children enjoy the West Broad Street YMCA every day. That is why I brought Republicans and Democrats together to deliver $642,000 to upgrade facilities here at the YMCA. Because it is so important for Georgia families that we have a safe place to take our kids and to play for recreation and for recreational opportunities for all. I'm grateful to Chatham County uh, Chairman Chester Ellis, Board Chair Joe Bell, and the West Broad Street YMCA for bringing this proposal to my office and for their leadership in the community. Thank you. And now we'll have um, remarks from County Manager Michael Kegler. Good morning. You know, uh, and I was talking to uh, a few folks this morning and uh, kind of reminiscing. And when I was about their age, I actually took swimming lessons at, in this pool. And although I wasn't a very good student, uh, I enjoyed the time out here, uh, you know, immensely. And it's because of that we want to make sure that these kids have the same experience that I did in swimming in this pool. Uh, and I want to uh, kind of thank a few people, and, and two of them are not here, as uh, Mr. Rouse indicated. You know, this... I got re-engaged in this project one day when Commissioner Rivers pulled me aside and he said, Mike, you know, we need to do something for West Broad Street Y. We need to make sure that these kids have an opportunity to, to swim and not being bused across town to do that. Uh, and, and followed up by that, uh, my friend uh, Clarence Davis, he pulled me aside and he, you know, kind of said the same thing. And it's... You know, both of those gentlemen are not here with us now, but I can I can tell you that I'm committed to helping fulfill the vision and dream that they had. Them, along with the West Broad Street YMCA board, really, uh, you know, thankful that you had the vision to to approach us to apply for this grant to Senator Ossoff's office. Uh, you know, it's just it's just great when you can come together with our federal partners and get this project off the ground to the community as a whole. You know, I see a lot of folks that uh, are stepping up and want to help support us in this endeavor. And, and that's really something that, you know, Savannah Chatham County can be really proud of. And I'd like to thank uh, our Board of Commissioners for the vision and foresight that when staff brought this uh, proposal to the commission, everybody, you know, unanimously, you know, approved it. And, and, and we're, we're seeing the fruits of their labor. Uh, to the mayor and, and city council, uh, they are been excellent partners. And we're seeing a lot of good things happen in our community because of the partnership with the city and the county. Uh, to my staff, uh, Team Chatham, Ms. Ms. Jennings, uh, I'm the rest of Team Chatham, our Parks and Recreation Department, who's going to help get this project off the ground and, and see it to uh, completion. I really thank them. They're an amazing group of men and women who have nothing but the best for this community at heart. I also want to thank our partners at the uh, Housing Authority, Ms. Davis and her team. Uh, they've been excellent partners. They they surround this this facility, and Ms. Davis is committed that when we get this pool uh, up and running, that they're going to help with the programming part and help fund swimming lessons for the individuals in this neighborhood. So. 
you know, it's 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 a great day in Chatham County. It's a great day in Chatham County. And I want to thank all of you. And, you know, it just shows me that if we all put our hands to the plow, a lot of things, good things can happen. So thank you and, and God bless. And now for Miss Virginia Parm. Good morning. What a beautiful day God has blessed us with. And yes. Again, good morning. On behalf of the Board of Directors of the West Broad Street YMCA, sincere thanks to Senator John Ossoff and his staff and legislators, and to the Chatham County Commission Chairman, Chester Ellis and his staff for your securing this grant and making this announcement possible for the West Broad Street YMCA. The West Broad Street YMCA has operated for more than 75 years as Savannah's historic Y, endeavoring to meet the needs of this neighborhood and surrounding communities through programs and services such as early learning, before and after school, summer enrichment, senior citizens' activities, growing edge community gardens, physical fitness center, midnight basketball, and other recreational and educational activities. Many of these programs and services need to be enhanced and are expanded. Yeah. One of the greatest needs is renovation and maintenance of the swimming pool, which would benefit all ages by providing swimming lessons and water safety classes for our children and youth and aquatic exercises for our seniors from the surrounding communities, not just this neighborhood. We want all stakeholders to know that the West Broad Street YMCA Board of Directors will work closely and responsibly with the county to use this grant to carry out the mission of this Y through programs that are that to programs that build healthy spirit, mind, and body for all, to be a center for the community, providing services that aid individuals in achieving their potential, and to end generational poverty by helping people achieve self-sufficiency. Again, thanks to Senator John Isoff and his staff in his absence, and to Chairman Chester Ellis, for your leadership in securing this grant. Thank you, Mayor Johnson, for your participation. And thanks to everyone who came out this morning to be a part of this historical announcement ceremony. I cannot close my remarks without expressing appreciation for and paying tribute to Clarence Tony Davis by his consistent devotion to this why as a member of the Board of Directors for several years. He served untiringly on the finance team and was always looking for ways to fund the renovation of the swimming pool, especially, as well as other projects. We are saddened that he is not here to witness this announcement today due to his untimely demise in December of last year. He is greatly missed, and we honor his memory and his service. Your attendance today is sincerely appreciated, and we ask each of you for your continued support of the West Broad Street YMCA and its programs. Your financial and volunteer help is needed in order to continue the historical legacy of this West Broad Street YMCA. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And before the chairman comes back up, I just want to let you all know that there are refreshments at the back. And um, the staff here at the West Broad Street Y have in, um, invited you to stop by and see what all they have to offer on the inside. Um, they have The kids have done amazing stuff, um, and they want to welcome you. So I'll turn it back over to the chairman for final comments. You, you heard uh, Mr. Rouse from the, <clears throat> excuse me, from the board of directors talk about what is needed here and all the repairs and all the refurbishing that needs to happen here. Let me announce today, as we announce the grant that we received from Senator Ossoff, and, and now let me kind of give you an enlightenment of what's going on and what's happening. Our senators played tag team on us. Right, Senator Warnock and Senator Ossoff got together and they decided which one of the, uh, I guess I call it, which part of the begging, because um, there's a joke going on around Washington. Whenever the senators see me coming, they give me a left hand shake because they're covering their wallet with their right hand because they know I'm going to ask for some monies. But I want to make sure that you understand what's happening here today. Uh, we have focused on the pool, but the total project that will happen between the federal um, partners we have, Senator Ossoff, Senator Warnock's office, the county, and also private citizens have joined in. Uh, you saw me whispering over to the, the county manager um, because I want to make sure that when I announce this today that we get this thing started and done because I don't want the figures to change again. When when I first met with the board of directors here, I said to Mr. Bell and them, I will go out and work on your needs. And when we started to work on their needs, they gave me a need list of about $1.6 million dollars. Well, I can say today, as I stand before you, between, don't worry about the sign, don't worry about the win, all right? Between our federal partners, our county partners, our city partners, and the private sector, we have committed to the YMCA $2.5 million. So I can honestly say, the roof is not coming, it's already here. I can honestly say the pool is not coming, it's already here. And the only thing we're waiting on now is the architects to give us the timeline by which these things shall be done. So when you see the crane comes and the pool's taken up out of the ground and put on a truck and shipped off, know that a new one is coming right behind it. Now, one of the things I want to answer too, because I've been asked this, uh, as we embark upon this project with the board of directors and our stakeholders, our private sector, everybody wanted to know where we're going to encase the pool or was it going to be an indoor pool. Nobody asked me about the indoor pool. And tell me about putting no roof on no pool. All right. So I'm not, uh, that's not a part of the 2.5, but the total project here from the Y will be $2.5 million. But one of the things that I want to put out to, and I want to put it in our coffin and I'm going to put it in our thinking is that as I spoke to Commissioner Rivers about this project, and that's when, who got me involved in the first place. All right. We will name something over here, the Gator Rivers Resource Center because that's what he was concerned most about. And, and he said to me, you know, like, there's no resource center for the, for, for, for the touching, and there are schools around us, all right? And so when you look at the second district, and I'm talking about the county second district now, I'm not just talking about the city second district, you have 
uh, Gaston right behind us. You have a garrison right on the other side, but down to our right, you've got Harge, you've got Duren, and you've got Beach. And so as we progress to come up with the plans for this facilities, all right, and yes, I can answer one of the other questions that the best, the gym will be totally renovated. All right. It's going to be a totally renovated gym because there's more than just basketball that have to happen on the inside. But I would like to honestly see the midnight basketball and all that come back. So there's going to be a beehive of activities in this area. All right. And this whole um, plot that the, that the YMC has will be transformed and be turned into what we're asking for. But I'm going to say the same thing to you that I said to the board of directors. I work on your needs. Don't ask me about your wants. All right. If you want something else, you go out and get it. I went out and got the money for your needs and we're going to match your needs and we're going to mix your needs. And so I also want us to understand too, um, there are more things that are yet to come from our senators. For instance, um, in our library project, the senators have gotten us $3 million for, and we're going to be doing groundbreaking soon on a new uh, Oberthorpe Mall library. All right, we are going to move out of that present building and we purchased the, the, the land and that's going to be coming out of the ground. At the same time, during the month of May, we're going to have groundbreaking for the um, Children Adolescent Center, all right? And that came from our partnership with our state officials, um, Ms. Westbrook and, 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 and the Speaker of the House and, and, and um, the senators that we have there. Also, what's uh, on our agenda that we have been given money from from the federal is that um, we've even looked out for our military. Hunter will receive $2.2 million for a new hangar and six point, and I may have the numbers backwards. All right, six point, uh, six point two is for the new brigade that's happening at Hunter. So you can see that we have been busy. All right, in Chatham County, you should be proud of what we're receiving from our federal partners, our state partners, and from the county and the city here. And again. It's not about any one of us getting the credit because all of us have to be to the table, all right? Even if we just have to write each other letters of support so that we can put it in place to get these things done. So I want you to know that these are the things that's going on. These are the things that will happen during the month of May, all right? I think there are, what, four grand, uh, I mean, groundbreakings that we will do um, from the county but it's from the city as well, especially like, for instance, when we get to the EOC building, that's all the municipalities working together. And the EOC means Emergency Operations Center. That's what it means. And that will be coming out of the ground beginning in May. So um, for the news media, if you're asking me for a timeline for when the Y project is gonna start and when we're going to finish, I have to depend on the architects and and the uh, um the program managers to give me those dates, but those dates will be coming out real soon as to when we will start to phase. But I can say this: it's not going to be three or four months between phase one and phase two and phase three, but we shall get the whole thing done because the funds have been uh, committed to getting this project done as well as the other projects. Um, thank you all again for being here with us today and thank you for uh, what you do because if if you don't help us, then we can't help you. But in together, together we're all in the same neighborhood. And if you remember just yesterday as, as the mayor talked, we talked about federal money that have never come this way before. And this is a part of that. But now it's in Chatham County. And we plan on wearing it out until we can't wear it out anymore. All right. Because we don't know what's going to happen in November, but you know, we want to happen, but I don't know what's going to happen, but I can say this, uh, if what we want to happen don't happen, then I don't know where we're going to get the next money from, but 
while the iron is still hot, uh, let's stick it to the fire. All right. God bless you and thank you all for coming. And and with this, um, we invite you to enjoy some of the refreshments and to if um you have any Catherine, if there's um they want to do uh the news folks, all right. All right, but let me ask this. Let me ask all of the city uh, elected officials, all the county elected officials, all the board of directors from, if you will come forward here, they want to do a um, a photo op. All right, so let us all come together. And and uh, who else do who else do you want to be? Uh, um, I saw um, um, Brother Young and 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 y'all come on from Senator Ossoff's office. Um, all right. Miss um Miss Ann, Miss Westbrook, y'all come on. I want you all want all of you to be a part of this because this is a joint venture with all of us. Yeah.